Hello and welcome. With this problem, we're going to contrast two views of how uh, like government debt could affect um, public savings, private savings, and national savings. And we'll see, see that uh, given you know which which is true, um, it has a different result on the economy. So this is going to be borrowed from Chapter 19 of uh, Minkew's Macroeconomics. Chapter 19 is the Government Debt and Budget Deficits chapter of uh, the eighth edition, uh, the edition I'm working with. Um, and this is from the uh, what is it the questions for review, so like the shorter questions at the beginning. So part one, and I'll do part two in a second. Part one says or asks, according to the traditional view of government debt, how does a debt finance tax cut affect public savings, private savings, and national savings? First off, what's a debt finance tax cut? Uh, debt finance tax cut is going to be when we reduce taxes and we don't have any kind of or corresponding change in government spending or anything else. So it's just taxes are cut, and how does the government pay for it? Well, it pays for it by um, taking out debt or some other means. We'll take out debt as the only way. Um, so it reduces taxes, but it doesn't affect government spending. So let's kind of work through each of our equations to determine the effect on public savings, private savings, and national savings. So first off, let's look at... Um, public savings. So public savings is just the difference between taxes and government spending. So if taxes decrease uh, and you know government spending doesn't have any kind of corresponding change, then that implies that public savings is going to decrease. And it's going to decrease by exactly the amount of the change in taxes. So if taxes go down by you know 5%, then public savings has gone down by... Well, if taxes go down by uh, 100 million, then public savings decreases by 100 million. Uh, next up is private savings. So for private savings, here's our equation here. In the traditional view, a debt finance tax cut uh, it's go will increase disposable income. So that's the y minus t term there. Disposable income is increasing because taxes have gone down. The difference between income and taxes is that disposable income. Uh, and it thereby increases consumption. However, the consumption will not increase as much as taxes decrease. So this is because taxes change consumption by the marginal propensity to consume. So if you if your taxes are cut, you don't consume all of your taxes. You know you would save a portion of that tax cut, uh, and the amount that you consume of that tax cut is uh, um, that is to say. So taxes here have gone down, so that's going to increase your private savings. But given more disposable income you're going to increase your consumption. So increasing your consumption here is going to decrease this, this private savings. So you have an increase in consumption uh, and a decrease in taxes. So which of these two effects is going to be the more powerful, the more dominant one? Well, taxes decrease by exactly the amount of the tax cut, right? So we know how much taxes are changing. Consumption increases by this thing called the marginal propensity to consume. The marginal propensity to consume is how much consumption increases given an incre increase in disposable income. The marginal propensity to consume is definitely going to be less than one. It's between zero and one. So consumption is not going to increase by as much as that decrease in taxes. So this effect, the consumption, increase in consumption, is definitely going to be smaller than the decrease in taxes. So we know that overall private savings is going to increase. That's because this taxes have gone down more than consumptions have gone up. Um, but you know we don't know exactly how much, uh, but we definitely know it's going to be less than that change in taxes. So let's summarize. Public savings, public savings definitely went down, and it went down by the change in taxes. Private savings, private savings have gone up, but it's gone up by an amount, some amount, smaller than the change in taxes that the amount is kind of going to be defined by whatever the, net, the marginal propensity consumed is going to be. So when we kind of, but when we combine the two effects, since national savings is equal to private savings plus public savings, public savings decreases by the change in taxes, and private savings increases, but by less than the tax cut, we know that national savings is going to decrease. So that's the effect on national savings. National savings goes down in this situation. So this is the traditional view. Uh, the traditional view has that um, consumption is going to be affected by the marginal propensity to consume. Now let's look at the next problem from this questions for review section, uh, where we look at the uh, Ricardian uh, view. 
So this question asks, according to the Ricardian view of government debt, how does a debt finance tax cut affect public savings, private savings, and national savings? So in the Ricardian view, only permanent changes in income affect consumption, right? Um, and remember, this is a temporary tax cut. It's just a little tax cut um, that's financed by debt. So first off here, what happens to uh, public savings? Public savings is unchanged from before, right? Uh, decrease in taxes, government savings uh, stay the same. So public savings decreases by whatever the amount of the change in taxes were. Private savings, um, in the Ricardian view, will increase by exactly the amount of the tax cut. So what's the logic behind this? The logic is that in the Ricardian view, consumers will see the debt finance tax cut and realize that the tax cut will have to be paid for uh, in the future. So they're going to have to collect additional taxes in the future somehow. Um, thus, consumers will save the tax cut for the future, and the tax cut won't change today's consumption at all. So private savings is going to increase by exactly the amount that the tax cut decreases. So now turning to uh, national savings, national savings is thus unchanged. Since private savings increases by the tax cut, public savings decreases by the tax cut, national savings is net unchanged. So, you know, according to the Ricardian view, a debt finance tax cut does not stimulate consumption because it does not change permanent income. Forward-looking consumers are going to understand that the government borrowing today means higher taxes in the future. Um, so I hope you kind of pick up the fact that what we're saying basically is that uh, the effectiveness of uh, fiscal policy of uh, this kind of tax cut is going to definitely depend on which of these two views is correct. Um, Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.